you know, in the end of last year, I fear this kind of regulation is pan Europe. They define how much kilometers you need to set up the hypercharger and what is the minimum charging power capacity for a DC fast charger and also even the height of the touch screen and also the payment ports machine and which need to be friendly user for those disabled. Actually, it gives very clear definitions. All of all tail charges, we comply with a fair solutions. Meanwhile, if you're looking at this industry in EU, still a lot of good government fundings, subsidies, which is happening to boost this industry. This is all happening all around the Europe. That means, at least in my personal perspective, this industry is going to still booming up in the coming decades. So that's why we get in the right place and also we are doing the things at the right moment. We have the plan to launch our mega charging system solution. If you're looking at the report data figures, you will see in the coming decades, the percentage of the EV trucks almost will occupy one third of the market. And especially in Nordic, especially in Western Europe. I have no the confidence that I will surpass Arbitronic within two or three years. But I said my target that I want to be top five in the European market. The, this is some critical target we set for us, and we are aiming for that. If you